Oh, run! Run! Why did I go near them? No, no, no. Oh, God. No. <laughs> Leave me be. Guys and gals, welcome to my channel, Kid Old Bear, and today I'm back once again with another episode of. <sighs> oh, you're in my crotch. Extreme Hardcore Survival! Yeah! Oh, my voice went there. Yeah, that was supposed to be a lot more higher pitch, but no, it didn't work. I don't know what happened there. I think my throat's still a little dry. Should have had like about like probably a barrel of juice before I did this. That might have helped. If you're wondering why I said juice and not water, it's because I despise water. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. <sighs> don't criticize me. Anyway, um. This episode, I don't really have anything planned, to be honest. This, this... Oh. Oh. These are skeleton horse traps, aren't they? Oh, run! Run! Why did I go near them? No. 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 Oh, God. No. <laughs> Leave me be. Oh. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't think you want to go out there unless you... Well, wait a minute, what? Um, did they all climb? Uh, okay. What did I just witness? Okay. Oh, oh. What? <laughs> How? Oh. <laughs> Why world? Alright. Oh, for God's sake, I need... There we go. Up you get. Up you... The moment you're con you're bloody... Right, you know what, let's just turn down the render distance, because that's the main problem with me. Go back to six. This... I cannot wait till I get a new computer. Where's the other one? I stood you all up. Okay. Where's my sword? Oh, wait, I've got... Is that literally all that bow is? Power. I forgot about that. I haven't been on this world in a while. I hit the horse. You fat... Who getting in the way? Oh, he's dead. And he's dead. That they're all gone. Uh, I should probably put some armor on because I took it off so you could see my skin and my friendly face. Right. I would like it if this game would actually work for once and let me move without spinning around everywhere. You can sit. You can sit, you can sit, and you can sit. There we go. That's a brilliant way to start. So, nearly get killed and then find some skelly horses. <laughs> it's, um, also, it's, uh, thingy brought back to life. There's a second skeleton horse there as well. Also, if you haven't been watching my, um, other series, which is, uh, where are you? Which is my, um, I'm trying to remember now. Oh, I don't have any saddles. What series was it again? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, my Wolfie World. If you haven't seen that, I'm updating all my worlds to... Well, my only... I only have, like... Who cares? I'm updating my world... Uh, both my worlds up to 1.10. Because 1.10 is out now. I don't know if you realise that. And it's really awesome. Now, please say none of you are skeleton traps. Okay. 
Right, okay, let's go back up. Oh, for God's sake, we're gonna have to try and find a way to get him out. What? Right, push, push. Yeah, but we're in 1.10 now. I didn't expect those skelly horses to spawn, but it happened. Um, uh, I think that I think they only spawn during thunderstorms, but I'm confused on why they spawned in the water. Oh my god, this horse! Oh, this is fast. Woo! I don't know if it's fast or it's just the lag. I can never tell. Oh, this is awesome. Oh. Uh, where to put you? That's the problem. Okay, thank you for spinning me around. I think I can... You fat horse. Uh. Right, you're just going to have to... Okay, you can stand there. Okay, thank you. I need you... Okay, I need to look at the horse first. I need you guys to give this new skelly horse a name. Just like you did with Wellorn. I need another new cool name. Maybe even an evil name this time, considering he's a skellington. I can't wait. I, I want them to bring out zo zombie horses now and put them in the world like this with zombie riders. It would be so awesome. They should do that. But, yeah. I need you guys to give this horse a name. Just remember that. Uh, you can probably tell I haven't textured the horse. Yeah, I'm lazy, okay? I couldn't be bothered. But, yeah. Well, where do you think you're going? Hmm. Maybe, maybe I can... <sighs> oh, I got hiccups. Ow. Oh god, why do I have hiccups? Right, you can go in the pit with cows. There we go, you're safe now. I'm going to probably build him a stable at some point. Should I collect the others? Yeah, I should. I'm going to try and get all the others. That'd be a good idea. We'll have a gang of skeleton horses, and you can give all of them names. How about that? I want all of you guys to contribute. All of the people who watch this video, I want you to contribute in giving them a name. Because if you can give them a name, it will be the best thing ever. They will all be really happy that they have been given amazing names by you guys. And there may even be the chance that I can give them your names if you feel like it. Um, and also if I feel like it. But, uh, yeah. So, if, if you don't give them names, they're just going to be ended up, end up being unnamed throughout the entire thing. Alright, we've got you with a saddle on. And... You with a saddle on, and... You with a saddle on. Right, okay, now we've got to push these horses in one by one. Ah, the joy. Oh yeah, also, let me know down below if I should put pants on my character, because at the moment he's just got, um, other stuff. This horse is, oh my god, this horse is fast. Holy mother of god. Loads of health and speed. This is... Okay, whoa. This is amazing. There we go. Right, we're just going to fill this hole with all the horses. That's my that's my task for today. Just to fill a hole. Actually, that's giving me an idea for what I should do this episode. I can build a stable. There we go. Also remember, not as a, not only just give me a horse name uh, this uh, for this episode in the comments. Also let me know what I should do next time. Now it won't be for next episode because I pr unless you manage to tell me by today uh, as soon as the video comes out. But pretty much tomorrow is today for me is today for you guys because today is actually Tuesday, which is when I recorded. Uh, when I released, um, my, uh, what was it called? Killer Wolf? Whoa, that is a lot of health. Maybe not as fast, but Jesus Christ, that is a lot of health. Holy mother of God. I have never seen that much health in a horse. 
apparently Skellington. Okay, thank you for. All right. There we go. So apparently Skellington horses have the most, like, massive amount of health. I did not know that. Okay. Hashtag Skellington horses are OP. Just go ahead, go on Twitter or whatever, and just spam that everywhere. Hashtag Skellington horses are OP. Even though that horse had like hard no art, you couldn't put armor on that horse. I'm pretty sure that horse's health was equal to that of if you put armor on well on, or maybe even more. I do not know. Jesus, that is like wow. Uh, right. Come on, get out of the water. Get out. Come on, get out of the water. There. There we go. Why are all of these horses so fast? I don't, I don't understand. Right. So we have pretty much, there's only one horse that isn't fast, but that makes up for his bloody health. I'm wondering if that works yet. Let's go and see. I really wish I could have lit up the bottom on that, but I haven't been able to. This is going to take a while to climb up, isn't it? This is something I didn't think of. I probably should have done something else. Uh, the, the problem is, I, the thing I was thinking of, which is minecart elevator, I can't do because... I don't have enough iron, so I'm probably going to have to try and kill the wither at some point soon, so I can make it a beacon so I can do a speed mine, which would be good. Even though it wouldn't be that speedy because bloody ghost blocks are a thing and they just... It's just like Mojang is just there like, yeah, we're going to fix ghost blocks. This update comes out, I'm just like, yeah, mining away happily in this other world that I have that I'm not actually... I deleted because it was terrible. Um, and pretty much, like, what happened then was... I found it. Actually, no, no, it wasn't in um, it wasn't in another world. It was when it was when I was building in my um, other thingy on, on the world in my other series. It was also during the video, and it was Minecraft 1.10. So I'm just here like, hmm, slightly confused on what's your going on here. Do you have anything wrong with you? Um. Now, one thing is either the mobs won't walk down, or I've messed this up. I still haven't sorted this out. I'm gonna have to sort this out. Wait, Geronimo! This is the good thing about living on an island. You can, you, like, literally just also the fact you have limited space and you're just slowly retreating a forest. Alright. Wow. Uh, what was I doing again? What did I want to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to build a stable, didn't I? So I think I should go get some materials downstairs, so I can... Is that skeleton trap still there? I'm just going to leave it, because I don't want any more horses. If it ends up staying there for all eternity, it's fine. Uh, I have an ender chest. I don't have any more ender chests, so that's the problem. Uh, why don't I actually read the signs and look for what I'm looking for? Yeah, that's a large amount of planks right there. I have got a large amount of oak wood. Oak wood's a nice texture. Oh, I forgot this was here. Mm. Yeah. I don't know why I find entertainment out of this. I'm wondering, what, would, what in unbreaking? Uh, I don't. I have three levels. Wow. I really need to step my game up. I I need to try and fix that bloody mob spawner. Oh, I forgot. I need to remake those bloody potions as well, and I've forgotten the recipe. <sighs> Obviously, I could do that off camera because I made the potions before on the video. Uh, why am I going back upstairs? I don't have a crafting table. Um. There we go. Alright, let's go upstairs and try and hopefully 
start work on the farm. Also, obviously remember if you comment you can end up here as a diamond suit of armor because I have like an abundance of diamonds and I'm never gonna run out of them because literally it just takes me like a few minutes of adventuring and I'll find about like 60 million veins. Yeah, I kind of raised the diamond count in this world. It's uh yes, it's kind of strange when you're just walking there and you find more diamond than you do iron. Iron seems to be the limiting source in here. Literally, my first ever tools ever made were well, not my first ever tools. My first tools were stone. I mean, no, I would have. I I had like an iron pickaxe for like the shortest amount of time, and then got diamond within like the minute of finding it. So yeah, it's kind of strange. Um, what am I doing again? Oh yeah, I need to go behind the house, and we can go ahead. And start work over here. I think that was the skeleton horses making that weird noise. So I've got four horses in total, I believe. Let me count, because I've completely forgotten. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I've got four. Okay. Um, so we need four stables. Right, so one, two, three, four. There we go, counting with Dracula. Um, then we'll make it about this wide. There we go. Um, and we also need to add the other here. Um, then we need to build up two. Okay. One, two, actually I think I should go up one more just so I can do my well-known pillar like this. I don't know why it is with me, but even with a texture pack like this, I still build bloody medieval bloody buildings. I sometimes question my building things. I should probably try and, like, I should have gone more modern, but the problem is, is I don't think I've textured any of the modern looking blocks. That's my only problem. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of a poo, aren't I? Uh, there we go. And I need here across here. And I've just realized I'm going to have to go tree harvesting, aren't I? Looks like I'm going to have to. Okay, thank you, game. Calm down. Actually, no, I might. Okay. What did I say? I said calm down. Ah, there you go. Right. Uh, oh, I've actually finished the entire thing. That that was like wow. Three. Um. There we go. There we. Go. Okay. Look down. There we go. Oh, stop spazzing out. Right. Whenever I build a horse stable, there's always the fact that I always build a normal, like, rectangular stable, but that's because, um, yeah, that's, that's why, okay, that's because, yeah, I could make a weird shaped one, but I just cannot be bothered. Wait a minute, one, two, three, I missed out the fourth one, well done me. This is why I am terrible at maths. Alright, okay, we're gonna have to go tree farming now, aren't we? Off to the forest that is slowly retreating backwards because I'm causing deforestation. Aren't I a nice fellow? <laughs> Destroying innocent animals' homes just to build fancy looking buildings and a stable for some dead or well, undead animals. Just. No one cares about living things. I mean, who needs living things? I mean, I'm not alive at all. Um, definitely not. I'm a zombie. Okay, what the hell happened there? That is not normal. I've never had it spouse out that long. I really cannot wait till I get a new computer. Then, then I won't have the problems with my mouse constantly spazzing out. 
because I believe this mouse is on its last leg. Considering I'm plugging, I've got it stuck together with sellotape in one of the on the wire. Not exactly safe. I, I, at least I think it's not safe. I mean, you guys could think it's perfectly safe. I mean, if I dropped it in water, it's definitely not safe because my hand's going to blow up. But I mean, who cares about my hand? It's not like I need both of them many of my day everyday tasks. I mean, at least I'd get out of tidying because I wouldn't have a hand, but I mean, I, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be able to do videos because how the bloody hell are you supposed to play a video game with one hand? If there is someone who's managed to do that, God, you're an amazing player. Actually, I think there is. There's someone who's pl managed to play video games without hands. I, I don't know. I, I gen that. I should just probably shut up. I, I think all of you are just dying right now because you're just there just like, okay, what the bloody hell is this guy talking about? He does not know about everyday life. You're just a little child trying to get big like bloody PewDiePie, even though he doesn't play Minecraft anymore and I don't even like him. I don't care what you have to say. His voice just gets really annoying sometimes, just like Stampy, Long Noses, but I mean, PewDiePie's I can tolerate more than Stampy Long Nose. But that's mainly because I'm not a two year old, because I'm pretty sure that's what Stampy's audience is now. Considering his channel, he doesn't swear in anything, for one, and. Uh, well, he does. His first few episodes he did, but even then they weren't that bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm pr I'm, I, I generally, like, I mean, there is the fact that I can sometimes, sometimes get interested in those sorts of things, but only sometimes when I'm in the mood for it. Right now I am tired, and I just want to go to bed, but I'm recording a video because I can. I should have recorded earlier, but I was an idiot and did not. So, yes, I have intelligence. Instead, I uploaded the music, my channel, with just doing a load of things, and nobody even ca nobody even cares about it because generally it's uh, not saying really anyone cares about because I mean, who likes my intro music? I mean, it's not good at all. It's it's terrible. I mean, it's not like my best friend, well, yeah, my best friend absolutely loves that music or anything. No, he absolutely hates it. It's not like he envied me when I used it for intro. No, no, not at all. He didn't want to kill me as soon as I showed him that. No, 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 I'm just going to shut up now, aren't I? Um, what am I supposed to do now? Oh, yeah, I wanted to, I brought a bloody crafting table and all I did was come down the bloody stairs. I'm an idiot. Ah, uh, no, you're not having my steak, you dogs. It's my steak. Alright. Let's put this here. And then we go here. There we go. And now we have a load of slabs. <sighs> Crap. There we go. Alright, boop, 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 boop. It's slightly taller. And you can still see the log. It's brilliant. There we go. And almost done. And then we can get onto the roof, which is not going to be made from cobblestone. This build is not entirely going to be composed of cobblestone. I'm not lazy. Well, I am, but I'm not that lazy. Alright, I think I should add some little slot windows in between. I think it'll look really cool. Yes, that does. Okay, we're doing that. Go and one over here. Uh, there we go. Um, right here. Okay, thank you for spazzing out slightly there, camera. Uh, there we go, and one final one here. Actually, no, I think I should do it on the back wall. No, because then it will just have a repeated pattern. I think it's fine just like that. And like, you can literally just go like this. I can see everything. <laughs> uh, right, um, so we've done that. 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to build now. Oh yeah, I need fences, but uh, I put my logs back in the chest downstairs. I sometimes don't think, do I? Oh, actually, no, I never think. But <sighs> I mean, who needs intelligence when you're doing a YouTube stuff? I was gonna say career, but I'm not doing a YouTube career. That's like the most idiotic thing for me to say. Why in the hell would I ever? Like, there's literally zero chance of me even being able to do a YouTube career because I'm like the, probably the most boring person. Actually, no, 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 no. There's like probably millions of people more boring than me. I mean, there's people who are more entertaining than me that you're probably more likely to watch because I'm pretty sure PewDiePie is more entertaining than me. I mean, there's a majority of people who will say he probably is, but then I don't care because I don't even like him. <sighs> there's gonna be a load of hate on me right now, isn't there? I've gone into something I should never have started. I've just dug myself a big grave right here. Not what I wanted. Alright, I need a few more sticks. Alright, there we go. I still need two more. This, okay, thank you for letting me go in here. I literally have the intelligence of a, a cheeseburger. There we go. There we go. Alright. It's going to be so weird not having a time lapse in this video. I'm so used to get putting time lapses in, but I'm not going to put one in. Okay, there we go. Do I have any torches? I have two. Great. Uh, there we go, and there we go. Perfect. Now we're just going to move the horses in because why not? I just opened the door and closed it. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. There. Right, now let's grab the horses. Alright, uh, let's go with you. Oh, right. There we go. Oh, whoa, his jump is really high. Alright. Jump out. And, okay. What is going on right here? Don't do that to me, game. Just dancing on the spot, what I wanted. Um. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. He jumps quite high as well. Alright. Um. There we go. Right, so we've got two more horses to go. Let's go with this one. This one is the one that's also got a bit of health and is really fast. I'm I I generally don't know which horse to pick. They all like they're all awesome in their own way. This one's a tank. Uh, the others are all fast. One's got slightly more health than the rest, but it's faster than the rest. I, I, wow. Uh, I, I don't even know anymore. I've just, I've lost all of my life essence right now. Right, there we go. And, there we go. And, there we go. Load of stairs. Also, oh no, my cow escaped. God, dilly darn. Get back. Your cell, you not okay or not? My camera just gonna spaz out in front of you while I try and get you in. Uh, okay, thank you. All right, come on, budge, 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 ooch. There we go. You're in. I can't be bothered to harvest wheat, so shut up. No, I'm not doing that. Right, let's go up. There we go, and I think we should have an overhang up here. So we're just gonna go along. I mean, I probably should put some logs. Okay, I ran out. Probably should put some logs on these corn. Okay, thank you, camera. Logs on those corners because they would do a nice look. It would look nice, not they would do a nice look. 
bloody grammar. This is why I am terrible at English. Right, um, so that has one. Then up here has one, meaning this is like this, and then that. There we go. Much better. One, two. Again, counting with Dracula, Sesame Street, 20 something. I don't even think it was 2014. I, I don't even know. I don't even know when Sesame Street was made. I wasn't born then. Why well, should not I was? I, I don't know. Shut up. I'm only. I, I'm. I thought that was upside down then. I would have punched someone. Bloody texture pack playing with my eyes. Uh. This is why we don't have flat colors, man. There we go, and there we go. Right. Oh, it's turning night. Oh, I nearly fell off there. I'm also hoping at some point to add some custom skies to this pack. Now, maybe if any of you guys are experts with texture packs and would like to create custom skies for me, you can go ahead and go to my Twitter and post it to me there. It would be really awesome because if you could have an awesome texture that could match my texture pack for the sky, mainly meaning it's just cartoony, I don't care what the size of the image is, god damn me darn, um, if you could do that for me I will add it to the pack and I will try and release the pack as soon as I can. Once I create a website for it considering the fact that uh, actually no I won't make a website for it I'll just put it in the description below actually I could probably do that now no I don't know oh for god why because to be honest I have it on Google Drive just because I wanted to make it easier for me to edit in the future only to find out that uh, as soon as the pack got released onto, uh, as soon as the pack was greenlit on uh, Planet Minecraft, that I accidentally did something and it ended up making it have to be re greenlit, which it still hasn't because nobody cares about my texture pack, even though it got six downloads within the first couple of. Uh, uh, within the first like couple of minutes it was released. Actually no, I think it got more than that and I got like a few XP and diamonds. But then as soon as I ended up, my hat got taken off green light, I lost all that XP and I'm just there like, yeah, that's logical sense right there. You know how to work Planet Minecraft. Once a pack has already been greenlit, what do you go ahead and do? You ungreenlit it when it was already greenlit when I save something. It's not exactly an intelligent design choice right there, is it? Like, literally, why would it need to be re it if it's already re it? That's one thing I don't understand in any shape or form. It, it's literally the dumbest thing that they could have done. It, like, they could at least make the website better by fixing that, but no, they're probably not going to fix it because, I mean, why would they care? Yeah. Like they've made something, they're not gonna care if my texture pack that is kind of terrible and only a few, even though it got really popular. But I mean, you never know. If I left it out long enough, people could have actually gone to my channel and, and watched my videos and stuff. But no, the bloody stupid website had to break, and my thing has to be re greenlit. And I don't even know if it's been greenlit yet because. I haven't been on Planet Minecraft for ages. The moment you just do a video and you just start chatting, but to be honest, like something like there's some footage that's gonna be cut out of this. Generally, meaning the bit where I uh, had to pause the game because my mom was calling me because yes, apparently she can't get my sister to do stuff. Uh, but here's another tree. Out. I'm hoping the wood from this that I get will be enough. It looks like it. That is really just like really weird without flying in the sky. Wow, that was a lot of health to lose. I can't remember if it was this world where I had death. No, it wasn't this world. It was the other um, 
It would be other world, but I've lost those boots in the other world because they got destroyed. Not very good whatsoever. Okay, thank you for spazzing out. Um, let's do that, and then we will also go ahead and go like this, and then this, and there we go, all complete. And we can just climb up with another nerd pole of cobblestone. At I'm hoping in the future at some point I get known as the survive. Okay, the building, the survival building wizard. Just not for this series because this series is absolutely terrible. My building skills are not what I care about. I just care about completing the game because I really want to see what's at the end of the tunnel. Oh, I know what's at the end of the tunnel, tunnel, but I really want just the like amazement of me just managing to win Minecraft for the first time ever, because I've never done that in Minecraft before, <laughs> to be honest. Especially not in bloody um, uh, what is it? Uh, hardcore, because like hardcore, I've like played once and I died straight away. Like, I remember my first days of Minecraft, when I first got Minecraft, which obviously because I don't have a Minecraft account now, and I'm still going on Cracked, was from Cracked Edition of Minecraft. I'm not going to tell you where I got it from, because knowing what will happen is I might get in trouble with Mojang, and I will not be happy with that. Thank you, game. Um, yeah. On my first days of Minecraft, it was in the, I, call it, I think it was in the beta stages of Minecraft. I think it was 1.4.2 of Minecraft beta, and my, I was a complete noob when I just, just started. And the first thing I ever built was a dirt fort. And you'll probably just hear like, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you like dumb or something? I generally was when I first started. I still am today, because, well, to be honest, whenever you play Minecraft, you're never going to fully master it. M loads of people can say they've mastered it, but they haven't. There's going to be aspects they have not mastered. Like, as soon as Elytra Flying comes out, they're just going to be there, just like, yeah, I've mastered everything. Have you mastered Elytra Flying? What's an Elytra? Well, there you go, you haven't. But pretty much, like, I am still kind of terrible at the game. This actually looks really nice. I did not expect this to come out so good. Uh, I think my building series is really turning on, uh, getting in, uh, getting to me. I think this should have like rim. Yeah, yeah. But um, pretty much my first ever build in Minecraft was a giant dirt fort on an island where I dug all of the dirt up with my bare fists and didn't die once. I had creepers blow up around me, and I just picked up the dirt that they dropped. And I was literally just there, just like, oh my god, this game's so amazing. And I was just one of those kids who would talk about it non-stop. Like, my old friends would literally be sat there, and I'd just be like, oh, what's the gas? Oh, what's this? What's that? And, I'd, and then they'd literally just be there like, uh, why did I teach him this? Why did we teach him this about this game? Uh... I liked it better when he didn't know, because he wasn't like this. Well, that's pretty much what happened. And I built this giant dirt fort, I was there, impressed. Stood on the main little fort in the middle, because obviously I built like giant walls around a bridge and like this, um, the main thing in the middle. And I built it entirely out of dirt, and I was impressed with myself, as you do when you build your first ever thing. And there I was, just admiring everything, stood in the ta one of the towers of the main fort bit in the middle. And then an enderman comes along and steals a single dirt block from my bridge. And what does he end then end up doing? He starts teleporting around in the distance. Literally just me there, imagining the troll song was just playing. And he's just there like, troll la 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 but pretty much, like, just imagine that. Well, actually, no, I can probably get out there and show you it. Right, there you go. Uh, just imagine I was still up here, because obviously I was on an island. It wasn't this size. It was quite a bit smaller. And he was just pretty much on this plain bit, 
over in that direction and he was like teleporting there 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 and then there was another island over this side he was there 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 and i'm just there watching it and i'm just there like and then pretty much kind of was just there like ah oh, you son of a gun why would you do that and this was in the time where i didn't even know what swear words were i mean i was still a little babby secondary school person and yeah i mean if you're wondering how the bloody hell i managed to play minecraft beta in uh secondary school considering secondary school uh i start it was like i'm in year 11 now and uh i believe minecraft fully released in 2006 which was when i was six years old the reason why I was playing Minecraft Beta 1.4.2 was because I managed to find a cracked edition that was still in that version. So yeah, actually, to be honest, it might not have even been Beta 1.4.2. I need to search this up. When the bloody hell were Enderman made? Hmm. This video is going to be really long just because I told my life story about Minecraft. Oh god. I spelled that wrong. There we go. Uh, it was introduced in beta. But what beta was it introduced in? Huh? <laughs> No, oh, first appearances, see history. History. Come on, take me to it. Stop being a bloody laggy thing. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why is it this? Oh, now it's not responding. Brilliant, brilliant. Come on. You can do it. I know you're a terrible computer, but you can still. Just oh God, I'll just scroll down then you complete bloody Right, um Uh at first not just still designing he thought not creepy enough, God so I did it. Uh in beta one point eight demo at PAX Enderman Drop Diamonds. Maybe oh, so pretty much I was an idiot and said that I must have played uh I know what version I played then. I didn't play on Minecraft uh, Beta 1.4.2. I thought I was in with the kids. No, no, I'm not. I'm, well, in with the kids, with the old people then. No, I'm not. I just they didn't even get they in, got introduced in pretty much Beta 1.8, and I said Beta 1.4.2. No, that's definitely. I played Minecraft 1.4.2 then. That was the first ever version I played then. So it was actually a version that got released after. Uh, 2006 then. So, yeah, there was me thinking I played one beta 1.4.2, only to realise that I re only to remember that that happened. And I, I'm so stupid. So pretty much, I played this thing not that long ago. I like uh, I played Minecraft for like about. So it was at the start of year seven. I'm year year eleven now. I've played it for four years. Wow, this doesn't seem that long. And I only need to think then that before then I was playing a game called Roblox as well. And I played that for about three years. Yeah, I've played Roblox. Actually, no, I've played Roblox for four, uh, five years. Oh, wait, no, no, it's four years. Because I think the last time I played it was in year 10. So, yeah, I haven't. Wow. I didn't realize it was that short a time since I it felt so long but there was the massive amount of gaps I've had in between because like I was got bored and, all, and then I went on to modded then I got bored of that and now I'm back on to survival and it's like I've somehow managed to get my shine where I'm just here like everything's fun mainly because I've gotten the re main reason I got bored of Minecraft because was all I was doing was on creative in survival, I feel like I can do so much more. It feel it feel like you get so much more conf uh, confidence, and you feel like you've accomplished something amazing. 
when you do something in survival because you know you've harvested all the materials you've pretty much spent ages building this thing and you end up with something awesome now obviously if you want to see some builds that are like really cool looking and everything like that and they are built in the default texture pack you can head over to my other series which will be in the description below and also I will probably put uh, try and edit an annotation on at the end of the video with it there for my um, other series which is my Wolfie World you can check that out and you can also let me know what I should build in that series because nobody's really been talking to me about it apart from a few people saying nice video and stuff like that and that's pretty much it I mean it has been retweeted before on Twitter um, and obviously also don't forget to check out my Twitter as well because that would be really awesome but also guys don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and have only just managed to find this video also don't forget to check out the previous episodes if you haven't and also don't forget to leave a comment below of what I should name these four horses and also what I should do next episode even though it might not be next episode if you end up sending me the message later because next episode is literally going to be recorded tomorrow which is Wednesday which is when this video is released so you can kind of see that yeah that's the kind of thing that's going on here you're seeing something from the past unless um, write in the comments below if, you, uh, if you're watching this in 2017 uh, yeah just yeah, sh shut up, no one's going to be watching this in 2017, are they? Literally hardly anyone watches it anyway. I don't know why I do these things, I feel so motivated to do them though. Doing videos just seems ten times more fun. I think it's probably the aspect I'm talking to myself to you and pretending you guys are here, but I don't know, videos are fun to me. But um, yeah, anyway guys, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give these horses a name, don't forget to give me a task of what I should do next episode and also don't forget to leave a like down below but anyway thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys in the next episode goodbye